What are you doing? Oh, good morning, Bill. How did you get in here? Oh, I had a task for the chamber, all right. When your orderly went to the filing cabinet, well, I just opened the door and walked right in. I'll bet I never even missed me. I bet I shan't either. Suppose you open the door and walk right out again. Bill, Bill, I only came because I was so worried about you. Well, the last time you worried about me, you nearly killed me with sleeping powders. Now it's a bayonet. Oh, Bill, don't be silly. It was the only thing I could find in here to cut my string on my parcel. Oh, the department gave me this office to fight a war, not for you to use as a parcel room. Come on. Oh, but Bill, look what I have for you in here. Oh, you go. Oh, but please, wait a minute. Come on. But Bill, really, it's for you. I got up early this morning and got it just for your protection. And the man I bought it from said you couldn't even feel it when you had it on. Why, you can wash it and it won't rust. It's thin and will stand all kinds of abuse. I'll bite. What is it? What is it? A bulletproof vest. No one else would have thought of that. <laughs> no one, dear. No one at liberty. Sleeping tablets, bayonets, bulletproof vests. <laughs> what a gal. Come on. Uh -oh. No, you don't. I won't go until you tell me when I can see you. <laughs> How about dinner tonight, Phil? I've got to eat. I suppose it might as well be with you. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Bill, what would you like me to wear tonight? How about a street jacket? <laughs> oh, how do you do? Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Won't you come in, please? I'll join you in just a moment. Olivia Carlo, Russian. She came back to Washington by cab. Went to the Andover Arms Apartments where Brennan was killed. Thank you. Won't you sit down, please? No, thanks. But I would like some explanation of this insanity. Now, Miss Karloff, you were brought here to answer questions, not to ask them. Uh, do you mind removing your veil? Not at all. Thank you. And now I'll have to ask you to take off the rest of your clothes. Oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, <laughs> that was rather abrupt, wasn't it? Yes, rather. Uh, will you send me a matron, please? Would it be asking too much for you to tell me why you're so interested in my clothes? No, oh, not at all. We want them for chemical investigation. It's a uh, rule, you understand? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I suppose I shall have to understand. You sent for a matron, sir? Yes. Will you please take Miss Karloff behind that screen and get her clothes? Yes, sir. This way, please. Nothing in the hat, Lieutenant. There you are, sir. Do you wish to examine these? Is that all, matron? That's all. She is bow-legged. Would you please give Miss Karloff that coat? Then go to the nearest department store and get her a new outfit. Replace these. Size 14. She'll never get into a 14. Go get it.